the top five physical therapy programs according to physicaltherapyschoolratings.com. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's go. The top five programs according to physicaltherapyschoolratings.com. So the link will be everywhere. Just go to it. You can go through this with me as well. So go to physicaltherapyschoolratings.com and you can see all of their criteria on how they rank programs and why they do it this way and why they do it that way. But this is the most comprehensive a rating or ranking system that I've ever seen because if you just Google top physical therapy programs, you might get a list from some news media site, but they don't tell you why a school is ranked this number or why a school is not ranked that number. The school could have paid to be top on the list or they could just be basing it off of something you don't care about. They could be saying, hey, this school is number one based on research in some blah, blah, blah thing. And you're like, I don't care about that. I'm, I don't want to do physical therapy for that thing. So why is that school number one? It's not number one for me. So according to physicaltherapyschoolratings.com, you can go through different levels or different sections of like why, like why they're putting physical therapy schools in rank one according to this section versus another. And you can go through and say, hey, curriculum is important to me. Let me see who's number one according to their site in curriculum or cost is number one for me. That's the most important factor. Let me go to that section and say, hey, what's the number one school uh, or what's the number one school that has the lowest cost or what's the next lowest cost, whatever, right? So you can match up what's important to you and what school is ranked highest or lowest according to your preferences. Because what do I say a lot of the times? If you're new, I say this, you are the customer. And when choosing a physical therapy school, you need to view this as an investment, as, um, as I'm buying an asset. I need this to pay off for me in the future. So you cannot take this decision lightly and just say, oh, this is the school number one, or this is the only school to accept me, and it costs this much or that much, and not have a plan on how to make sure this returns on your investment in the future. You will not be happy uh, with your decision if you take this lightly and just say, oh, let me just rack up all this money to go to this school, and um, it'll all be figured out in the long run. No, no, no. You have to take this serious, just like you're buying a house or a car or something very expensive. You take your time to make sure it's worth it. You have to do the same thing here. So let's go to physicaltherapyschoolratings.com and let's go through all the categories uh, that they split up these ratings and rankings into. So how they classify these schools is, of course, cost. Next is curriculum. Then your uh, or their experience approach. Then their faculty score their clinical score. So when you go out on clinicals, um, they score and rank them based on that. Then graduation rate, NPTE or board exam pass rate, employment rate. So you want to work. That's why you're becoming a physical therapist, right? Uh, then lastly, student satisfaction rate and alumni satisfaction rate. Okay. So you can see all these different categories on how they rank these schools. Then you can go to another section of their website and see uh, what criteria they, they spell it out for you on how they rank these different schools in these different categories. So what we're gonna do in these top five schools is go over the overall rating and ranking. So they have an overall score based on all these categories, then also category specific uh, ratings and rankings as well. So here are the top five schools according to physical therapy school ratings, overall rating um, for um, this site, all right? So number one is University of North Georgia, all right? University of North Georgia has a score of 67 out of 100. And again, you can go see um, how all that math and how all that stuff works out according to them. Next, number two is St. Ambrose in Iowa, and they have a total overall score of a 64.9. All right. Next is Radford University in Virginia, and they have an overall score of a 64.8. Next. University of Nebraska Medical Center. They are number four with a total overall score of a 64.4. And lastly, in number five is University of Las Vegas with a score of a 64.2. All right, so those are your top five schools according to physicaltherapyschoolratings.com. Now, again, if you have 
different criteria on what's, uh, what's important to you, then please go to their site, check them out, let them know we sent them. Uh, we sent you, follow them on Instagram as well. Um, they'll definitely appreciate it. And make sure that whatever's important to you, you see how they're rated and why they're rated that way on physicaltherapyschoolratings.com. So choose your school wisely. Those were the top five schools according to physicaltherapyschoolratings.com and we'll see you on the next video.